In the instrument we have a tin and zinc plated copper metal sample. You can see in the optical image that was taken in the intro that the surface is fairly uniform in composition. And we're going to be using SXI imaging to look for defects on the sample surface. Initially we're going to perform a Z-align to find the correct sample height and you'll see that starting now. It's loading an x-ray setting and then starting to adjust the z-height. Uh, we can also view the progress uh, visually if we want to and uh, very shortly we'll see the maximum z-height appear. We're already seeing signal rise as we approach the correct position. Uh, once the instrument senses a significant rise in signal, it drops back and proceeds with finer step size. And you're seeing that progress now, and now we're approaching the maximum Z height. You can see now we've gone through the peak in signal intensity, so the instrument will stop shortly and uh, position us at the correct Z height. And so the instrument is finished auto Z. I'm going to uh, turn on an SXI image. I've got a fairly large field of view right now, 1.2 millimeters. And in the current field of view, the SXI is showing the composition is relatively uniform. We can see some of the striations in the metal, the physical imperfections. And what we want to do is uh, use the SXI imaging to look for some defects. So I'm going to zoom in on the optical image and see if I can find a place where we want to look. Generally, it's fairly uniform. I can see maybe some indication optically of something going on over here. So why don't we go ahead and move up there? And I'm going to refresh the SXI. And we can indeed see that there's uh, multiple features visible at this time. And we can see this area that's slightly whiter optically is uh, producing significant contrast. And there's also a feature here that's not visible optically at all. So I'm just going to uh, center that region. I'm just going to click here and uh, refresh the image again. And then we'll perform an analysis uh, on those three different locations and see what the compositions are. So I'm now going to save the SXI image and display the saved image. And I'm going to define then three points. One on this bright feature, one on the kind of the average area, and one on the dark feature. So you can see we have three points defined and I'm going to just label them as uh, bright, average, and dark. And then we'll switch to the XPS tab and ask for a spectrum analysis. We have a 50 micron X-ray beam selected right now. That seems to make sense with the size features we have. We have a survey spectrum already defined. So we'll just go ahead and start the acquisition and uh, see what we can see chemically. So you can see the x-ray setting loading and the acquisition beginning. And we'll have a look at our spectra. You can see the three areas already are quite a bit different. Uh, we're seeing zinc in the central area, in the control area. And that, I believe, is the surface coating of, of the uh, material. And we're starting to see uh, other elements now. We can see oxygen in all three areas. We're seeing a fairly large amount of tin in this bright spot. I believe tin is below the zinc. So we're seeing quite a bit more tin in this bright area, zinc here, and uh, really no metal in this dark area at all. It looks like we're seeing an organic. We're seeing oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon in this dark area. So you can see very quickly, we can put in 
essentially an unknown sample that we think might have some localized features, find them and identify them using multipoint spectra.